Hi all, welcome to linuxmix.com YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how to install Linux Mint, one of the recently uh, more popular Linux than uh, Ubuntu and other things according to uh, distrowatch.com. So we will see how to install it. Uh, once you put uh, Linux Mint CD into CD-ROM, uh, you will be uh, like uh, prompted with these four options nothing but uh, boot from local drive, st uh, start Linux Mint if it is already installed, start in a compatibility mode if there is any issue you can go with this compatibility mode nothing but uh, rescue mode I can say in another uh, Linux operating systems integrity check, check for hardware related stuff, check memory related stuff and uh, uh, boot from local drive so I will go with start uh, Linux Mint uh, we will see how to do that one uh, so I'll uh, just uh, click on Mint. So it will start booting up. Uh, this is similar to Ubuntu, uh, which is nothing but it will uh, try to give you a uh, live CD environment where you can use th the same CD or DVD for uh, uh, live CD so that you can test it uh, indefinite days. Once you are familiarized with this one, you can try to install uh, Linux Mint. So it's just uh, loading all its required files into the RAM actually. So you are uh, now if you see, yeah, uh, it's taking a bit time. Yeah, uh, if you see, uh, it's already booted up. Uh, y you can get uh, its network is connected. It's similar to you need to install it actually, right? So if you want to install it, you can click this one. Otherwise, you can uh, right away use your uh, Linux Mint operating system. So what I'll do is I'll want to install it. So I'll click on Install Linux Mint. So it's just uh, starting up. It it takes time. Um, if you see, so we'll wait some more time. Yeah, if you see, uh, I just click the menu, you can get all the stuff without installing at all. So, I don't want that one, I'll uh, try to install it. Uh, this is like uh, similar to Ubuntu installation as I mentioned. So, the installation procedure will be in English, say continue. And it's just checking uh, for uh, uh, internet and other things, say continue. Uh, which is minimal requirement for it. So I'll say erase it or do something. What I'll do is I'll uh, take it as an erase disk and install it uh, because Mint is used for uh, 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 doing a system, I mean um, desktop environment. So I'll go with its default uh, layout. So I'll just say where you want to install the entire disk to be uh, erased or not. Uh, say uh, install new. So that's it. It's just complete. It's that much simple I can say. So uh, at the time of installation you will be prompted with m number of uh, settings like uh, uh, the location uh, where you are going to install I mean uh, uh, physical location whether it is uh, Kolkata or in US, India, anywhere. Now I belong to India so I will uh, select Kolkata as my time zone. Then uh, the keyboard layout I will keep it as English US and English US say continue. So here you can uh, give the normal username. So uh, I what I'll do is I'll give uh, the computer name. I can give my Mint OS. So I'll keep my username as as it is. I'll go with. required uh, th these three options are something like if you select this one it will not ask uh, uh, you about the username and password at the time of login so it will directly automatically logs you in uh, if you select this one it will ask you every time when you um, uh, try to log into this box and uh, the third option is you can encrypt entire uh, home directory I don't want to mess up the things or I don't want to do any kind of encryption as of now so I'll say continue So, uh, 
that's it uh, we are almost uh, done with the installation uh, here you can uh, go through the slides uh, when it is installing uh, so these are the what actually your mint will do so it's awesome like similar to your uh, ubuntu i can say So that's it. Uh, we are done. So what I'll do is I'll uh, pause my video so that uh, it'll uh, complete the installation, and I'll get back to you at the time of end of the installation. Between these things, you no need to worry. It, it'll take everything automated way, uh, installing the things and cleaning up the things, everything. So stay tuned. Yeah, we are almost done with the installation. Uh, just click on restart button. So it will restart your uh, OS so that all the uh, settings whatever modified it will be permanently written onto the hard disk. So we'll see. Yeah, it's still uh, restarting up. We have to uh, s uh, remove the installation uh, CD and uh, reinsert the things what i'll do is i'll uh, 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 remove that installation cd now yeah i rebooted my machine it'll take bit time to uh, load up the things so uh, username i'll give surendra password and don't ask me about the password We are done with the installation and it says its uh, network is connected and you can see Surendra home directory and computer and uh, here the network uh, should actually it should come we will wait some more time uh, the ma main menu should come here yeah we got it so from here whatever we want you can do it this is similar to windows uh, uh, operating system so whatever like uh, you can even search similar to windows you can browse internet you can uh, record your uh, or you can uh, do s sound settings mail client everything it's in one place so that's it uh, installation of uh, linux mint uh, keep visiting linuxnext.com and uh, uh, subscribe to our uh, updates and get your free ebook have a great day bye